All right. So um, this is Laura. Laura won our 12 week challenge this year, and it was super, super awesome. So fun. Um, first, I just want you to give us a little recap. What was your um, experience with the challenge? How did you feel during it and after? Um, so the challenge was exactly what I needed. Um, I've been wanting to make a change for a while. And I even set a goal at New Year's of like, that I wanted to make a change for my health. And, and yet every time I thought about exercising or eating better, I was just, I was just overwhelmed. Like I just couldn't even <laughs> think about it. And then I saw this challenge. I was like, let's do it. And so one of the things that really made me want to do the challenge was that y'all said you go slow and and that's exactly what the challenge did for me it still pushed me it gave me enough push to to do what it was I was already wanting to do but it also gave me time to be able to make um the changes I needed to make and um and the changes have been incredible they've been huge they've yeah yeah, they feel more normal now. Um, <laughs> even some most days um, until there's a new change, right? <laughs> yeah, no, totally. So, yeah. how much weight did you lose during the 12 weeks of the challenge? Do you know, if not, it, I was, tell you. it was around 20 pounds. I don't know yeah. the exact, but it was, it was around 20. Yeah, I think it was 19. Yeah, it was right there. And then since then, you've kept losing weight for Mm -hmm. this last month also since we ended the challenge. So total, you are down 26 and a half pounds. Nice. is absolutely incredible. So amazing. So um, yeah, super amazing progress. You lost a ton of inches too, obviously. I mean, (laughs) um, (laughs) And we could go through all of those, but we'll, we'll just talk about the, the weight. Cause that kind of sums it up for now. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you feel like you accomplished with your mindset during the challenge? That was the other thing I loved about this. Um, that was different than I feel like any other fitness thing that I have seen is, is that y'all include mindset in there. And I feel like with the mindset, um, it started with, setting the right goal so that my goal wasn't just, you know, realistic. <laughs> it was just, it was, it made it more deep and more meaningful to me, um, mm-hmm. where you helped with the why that's what we did. We, we talked about the why, and that was the first mindset that really helped me get into wanting to make these changes. Um, but the other mindset things, things that I didn't um, necessarily connect with fitness, which I should have, but what was stress, that was a big one for me of just noticing um, and taking those breaks each day. Uh, it really, I mean, it's changed my, not just my fit, my health, but it's changed my home and my family. And, and I'm still working on that, but it's, <laughs> that's been a huge one that I, that's really helped me go up. Um, those are the main ones, but the mindset's really been able to, to help my mind be more clear and focused on not just health, but on, well, not just physical health, but on the whole, the whole, yeah, yeah. the whole (laughs) wellness wheel, (laughs) (laughs) all of the different components of health. Yeah. And that's, yeah. And that's huge because there are so many different pieces of health and physical health is one of them. And when we focus only on that, it is going to be harder. And there's Mm going to be other things that might be stopping us for a little bit. Um, So at the beginning of the challenge, you did not see progress for a few weeks. Um, Can you tell us about that? What your, your chart, actually, I'm going to pull up that picture of it. (laughs) But um, yeah, go ahead and tell us what happened at the beginning. Um, Yeah. So at first it was more, I was more just kind of keeping track of what I ate. Um, I didn't have a goal yet of what I ate, but I was being more active and my weight really didn't move. It kind of did the up and down around. (laughs) Um, but it didn't, there was, there was not progress as far as the weight was concerned in that first month. Right. Or was it maybe three weeks? Yeah, it was three weeks about. Yeah. 
but once that, but once we actually had a calorie goal, um, my weight just dropped like immediately. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yep. it totally did. Okay. So I'm going to share this picture so everyone can see that. And this was, where's, oh, there it is. Um, this was, let's see about mid February. So this was probably like eight weeks in to the challenge. Okay. This wasn't even super far. This was, mm -hmm. but this is right when we started that calorie goal and we just saw progress, but for those first few weeks. Yeah. And then after that, it only went even further down from there. So super amazing. Um, so proud of you. Do you feel like, um, it was a lot at once. Do you feel like it was manageable? Like the to-do list part of it? Do you feel like, um, it took a little bit of adjusting? Um, what was that like for you? That part of it? Um, it definitely took adjusting, but I feel like the, the amount that you gave me at once was, was doable. It was, I was able to just take the one thing at a time and make those changes. Um, I mean, my, I've told you this, but some of my first workouts, I would seriously cry through them. They were so hard, <laughs> but I, but I did them. And I think having the challenge, like where I was like, well, if I complete it, I'll get that one point. I can do it. You know, like yeah. it was, it was just extra motivation there. <laughs> and yeah. goal, that, that helped me too. Having more of a reason. Mm -hmm. um, those were the two things that really kept me going through where I was like, even though it's super hard and I'm like, I genuinely, well, not genuinely, but I joked with my husband one time. I'm like, you better check on me in 15 minutes. Cause I might die in this workout, <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I made sure I completed every one. And that yeah. was, it was hard, but, yeah. but it made that progress. The workouts aren't hard like that anymore. They're still hard, but they're not yeah. They're not emotional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. And it's, yeah, your body adapts and you get stronger and, and your mindset adapts too, like your mental ability to work out for that long, because that's, that's hard too at first. Um, yeah. but that's, yeah, that's amazing. And in just four months, you've come so far with that. Um, so last question I want to ask you, I will wrap this up, but, um, what advice would you give to someone who's just starting out, who maybe is a little bit frustrated or discouraged with, with the program so far or with <laughs> themselves and how they're responding to the program so far? <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say I definitely had my ups and downs throughout as well. Um, and Kira's been my ear on a lot of it where I'm like, ah, it's so hard, help me. <laughs> but, but push through it because, because even though it's hard in the moment, um, go back to your why, go back to your reason and, and push through it because it's, um, it's going to help everything in the program, every little thing that might seem, oh, is it, I don't know, will that really make a difference? It does. It's that consistency that makes a difference you know don't 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 miss them don't don't skip them because it's hard push through it so that you can see the results and and you can do it it was super hard for me but you can do it that's what I have to say you can do this and it gets better <laughs> it gets better a lot it better. Gets better until until we had a protein goal right yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's fun I'm, I'm even liking the challenges of the protein goal like it just Good. each challenge is is frustrating and hard and then I'm like okay okay I can do this I can make this work yeah. so and then you see the results from it and it's, yeah. it's all worth it and then it's yeah. easier to keep going <laughs> yes exactly yeah. the results will come yes yeah no for sure I love it um, yeah. And I think that's awesome advice to always go back to your why, your reason. Um, and remember that, yeah, it, it gets better and it's part of the process and trust the process. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> I really, yeah, I really love everything that you just shared. Um, thank you so much for sharing some of your thoughts with us on the challenge and thanks for being you. You're so awesome. And, um, I love working with you and I love hearing, um, all of your wins. And I love hearing about the things that you struggle through because you do, you push through them. And then I get to remind you next time you're struggling with something when when the protein goal doesn't sound super fun. I'm like, Hey, remember when workouts weren't fun either, (laughs) it gets better. So. Um, (laughs) I love, I love how well you're able to push through those things and to, to keep that perspective and to just latch on to all the different pieces of the program, because that is, it's true. Like we've, we've been through similar things ourselves, Kayla and I, and we've, um, put a lot of the things into this program and Kayla's created like the perfect nutrition program, in my opinion. Um, but there's the things in this program, like we know they work. And so mm-hmm. it's, you just got to do them and trust it and it'll yeah. happen. Um, but thank you so much for coming on. Um, super, super appreciate it and super excited for the next, the next little bit and what the future holds for you. Cause yeah. it's only going to keep getting better. So <laughs> you're yeah. awesome. Have a thank great you. day and thank I'll talk you. to you later. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>